And we are back. We have a lead on the Torian arc we are taking on today. Let's see if we can get that. We found one. Got the Asari arc back at the uh, up and running and helping out. Let's see if we can get the Turian arc. If we can get two out of three of the missing arcs back, that'll be great. As a reintroduction, I am Count Zero. OR. Why the OR? Because... One or the other. Alright. No junk items to sell. I did that already. No pop. Oh! Wait. For research and stuff. Minerals. Consumables, alrighty. Team missions. This. This. Awesome. Team. That uh, that's a bronze. Okay. Let's take some risk to see if I can get level some of you up. Liam has six. Let's put the new defense to make you more survivable. Cover ordinary enemies. Havoc strike gets kind of up close and personal. Overload is a ranged attack, but I think what you use Havoc Strike, so I might as well give you a uh, upgrade to defense that helps you when you are doing Havoc Strike. Oros got five points. Rex got six. Vetra has six. Joel has five. And Korhar has six. So, so I can level up one of your skills to level six now. Go with the rate of fire bonus, but I think I want to go with damage versus shields, because that makes you more useful versus the numerous, numerous, numerous um, uh, remnant with shields. Aura. Reduces her fully restores shields and reduces her incoming damage. Or 
blitz are pulled off right away which is below 30 health well doing it being able to do that a bunch when she hits minimum health is wonderful and all or like 30 percent health is great and all but you're still not very survivable then so let's make you actually survivable so you pull this off you're up close and personal and now you have full sheet full shields and a pretty substantial buff y'all haven't done your loyalty mission yet so i'm just putting these into points on herbal soldier debuff enemies oh both are debuffs one is they take more damage or they deal less let's have them deal less rack Guns put to enemies or makes it effective versus armor. Let's make it effective versus armor. That way it's more useful against big nasty creatures with armor. And PB. Switch your duelist. Use powers more often or deal much boost their power. Boost their power. I got six points. Let's boost. Let's finish boosting my biotic. Um. Let's boost my biotic, biotic passives, so... And the Turian Arc next. Any emails from the whole... Hey, we just set back the uh, Turian, the um, sorry, Ark thing. All right, a couple of nice letters, emails. Let's finish scanning this system. We didn't parking orbit. And we haven't scanned out this whole system yet, so let's scan it out and see if there's any other useful resources here. I really do like these approach shots, at least from like when we get to see the planet for the first time. Hmm. Gonna take a more or less straightish route around the system.
Man, you picked a crappy system to get stuck in. Not as much picked, but ended up in, uh, trapped in a crappy system. So you're radically capable of producing rainfall. Deploying probe. I found something. A river created by like a temporary river created by a massive rainstorm. I'm kind of interested how this planetary ecology works or doesn't work. is the whole kind of question of how the scourge is affecting the planetary ecology of all the worlds around here. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Nice. Aluminum. I just figured I'm just scanning this system. We got Illidan. We have a bunch of other systems to check around here. Ericsson's been charted. These three have not. Let's scan them on the way back. all over this region. You'd think they'd run out of people to steal from. Anomaly on sensors. Yep. And we're heading in to check it out. deposit. Build it around a metal core composed of an unknown alloy, likely as part of a remnant structure or something else untold aeons ago. Head to Illidan. Let's take Liam on this one. That's an interesting. Yep. All right. Field capacitors again. Let's grab some of those. Here, chapter ammo for the other two for squad. Let's. Putting a new planet. We're going to bring Liam. And we're 
and we're going to make first con and we're going to make make contact with the Turians. And also with Raiders handy nearby. Let's bring Vetra. Okay. Sam, send Callow the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. Oh my way. Oh, there's a Drac mission on here. Ooh. I should have brought him along. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. That's fair. Remnant Starship? No. Only 41% exposed. I will gather what information... Wow, um, so there's like three party members I kind of need on this mission. I'm shooting my lineup to PB and, um... Let's see if they find a drop, uh, drop point. I'm shooting my party lineup to PB and... Um, Drac. The Plutorian base. Who lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. I'm gonna head to the colony, smooth the waters. And by smooth, I mean headbutt a lot of people. Oh, I guess that's this one. This planet is freaking baking. Uh, I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Stealing the next shuttle out of here. Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Didn't know your duties reached all the way to Elodin. It doesn't. I'm here for... personal uh -huh. reasons. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the Rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara. That's, that's together. nice. Together. You're a good brother, Kent. Don't congratulate me yet. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. All right. Check a couple settings real quick. I just realized. Um, have I? I okay, difficulties back to normal. Good. All right. Wanted to check.
Let me sure my, I hadn't, I had yeah, I should sure remember to bump the difficulty back up. It is a interesting, attractive planet. Oh, these stairs. Okay, so these, so I have issues with vertigo in real life. Fortunately, in video games, this is less of an issue. But the bane of my existence are these type of stairs, especially when they're over the void. And oh boy, it is over the void. I just could not go up these stairs in real life. I just, you, you, you couldn't make me. Mind if I borrow some of this fluorite? I bet that's a water storage setup over there. <laughs> Bang my head. Hi. What are you looking at? Um, what? Nothing. Really? Because it looks like you're looking at me. I don't like it. I'll look where I want. Yeah, maybe I'll shoot whoever I want. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. Wow, the stories about Eladin are true. Ryder, I heard that little exchange. I don't understand it. They screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up violent and unstable? You think something's up? That's what I want to find out. Can you scan the scavengers here in the paradise and transmit the data to me? And, you know, be discreet. Interesting side quest for Lexi. He hasn't really got one yet. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Shoot. A Pathfinder. Sh oh, color me impressed. <laughs> How do you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the Collective is saying about you. Well, now I'm curious. I will repeat it, for your sake. Got info on someone named Isabel Halsey? What am I, your personal database? Come on, you're the only one here who doesn't want to kill me. Just help me out. Fine, fine. I I've never met her, but I heard a few scavengers talking. Oh? Mention a cave out in the dunes. Something about Isabel's time being limited. This is the nav point. Just watch out. That's a bad Sound area. Sound like she pro- All of Elodin is a That's bad fair. area. That's fair. Good point. Speaking of which... What's your take on Elodin? If the worm or the gang leaders don't kill you, the heat in Ataraxia will. I don't know how anyone can live here. Somehow, they make it work. Barely. At least once a trip, an escaped slave or ex-cultist tries to ex bribe me for a ride out of here. Except the Krogan. I've seen new Tachanka. We'd all be lucky to have a setup like theirs. Ever work with a guy named Reyes? Reyes? He's one of my buyers, actually. You know him? We've met. I'm not surprised. Reyes knows everyone. Some a little too well. You said you run salvage to Kadara? How does that work? The scavengers come from Hell's Promise to sell me their scraps. I pay them next to nothing. Charming. Then what? I haul my loot to Kadara and sell to What's the merchants. Markup? Sloane takes her cut, naturally, but mostly I make a killing. Sometimes I even buy water from Aenea and sell it at a premium in the flop house. It's a solid life. If you say so. You must deal with the scavengers a lot. No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship. It's enough to make my skin crawl. That's very Mad Max. I plan to keep my distance. Smart, but it's not just the gang leaders. 
The ones in the paradise are dangerous too. Oh. This is supposed to be a neutral zone, but I don't trust the scavengers to follow the rules. Right, thanks for the info. Take it easy. Always do. The do cortinoid hormones are high. Huh. It's a fair exchange. Why? Because you say it is. That one didn't you know, work. Try something. someone else. If you don't think so, go trade somewhere else. Okay, I will. So you're an ear. That's right. And you are? Veteran X. We do business with the same people on Kadara. Ah, yes. One of the newcomers. Welcome, all of you, to my paradise. Outside the gates, you're on your own. But in here, you're safe. The certain values are safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Yeah, everyone's on their best behavior. Is it natural, or are they on something? Huh. <laughs> Nothing so complicated. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. I'm supposed to meet a Krogan here named Strux. Look around. If my customers have names, I don't know them. It's better that way. <laughs> what can I buy? I don't know. What do you have to trade? Mostly I sell water, but you should go out to the tanks if you want that. Is there anywhere else on the planet to... I don't know. Find water? Not really. And if I don't like the look of you or you get on my bad side, then no water for you. Charming. Did you just lock up on me? Okay, um... So, I encountered bugs before, but this is the first, uh, locked up the game bug. Um... So, I'm gonna have to restart. Sorry about that. Let's see if we come back up. So we'll see where we end up resaving, where her, we end up checkpointing at. Hopefully we checkpointed after I took those two quests. Okay. 